This video suggestion comes from at Ben Kantz on Twitter. We're going to try something different in the sense that if you have a video idea you would like to suggest to us, use the hashtag Fact5Idea. And who knows, we could pick out your idea for our next video. And you'll get a nice shout out too. Woo! by the WWE in 2005 due to unprofessional conduct because of the whole Edge and Lita drama. Because your life is wrestling and that's it. You can't no, separate. I, like I said before, you just proved my point, dumbass. Let, let, Matt Hardy started making his own vignettes, where he referred to himself as the Angelic Diablo, with the tagline, the scar will become a symbol, in reference to the way that he had been treated by Lita and the WWE. These vignettes, along with the public knowledge of Lita's affair with Edge, gained Matt the full support from the fans, who chanted, We Want Matt at WWE events. The crowd support for Matt Hardy, along with a petition from the fans to get Hardy to re-sign with the WWE, gave Vince McMahon no choice but to give Matt Hardy a new WWE contract. Damien Sandow's intellectual saviour of the masses gimmick landed him in many high card segments, such as his segment with The Rock. But the pinnacle of his character came in 2013, when he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. However, this all went downhill after John Cena buried Sandow in a failed cash in attempt. Sandow would then go on a losing streak before he found great success, reinventing himself as Damien Mizdow a stunt double for The Miz. The Damien Mizdow character was so over to the point that the crowd would boo The Miz and chant We Want Mizdow. When Sandow was eventually released in 2016, he was even trending worldwide on Twitter for three plus hours just because of how popular he actually was with the fans. Towards the latter stages of his WWE run, Rusev was being criminally underutilized, losing to Randy Orton in just 10 seconds. <laughs> but despite all of this, something good did come out of this, which was the global phenomenon that was Rusev Day. It's Rusev Day! Rusev Day! Despite selling out t-shirts and filling arenas each night with Rusev Day chants, it still wasn't enough to convince the chairman to push Rusev, as Rusev revealed on the Ryback show that Vince told him that the fans were just fucking with him, and that Rusev Day chance didn't mean that he was over. It just meant that they were mocking him. What? As a result of his dissatisfaction with his place in the WWE, Zack Ryder started his own web series on YouTube called Z, True Long Island Story. He made it his mission to get himself noticed, and that's exactly what happened. Are you serious? Are you serious, bro? Zack Ryder does not get pushed! His web show started to skyrocket in popularity, and he gained a special connection with the fans as the WWE's self-proclaimed internet champion. His popularity meant that he was selling out t-shirts and filling arenas with We Want Rider chants, despite not even being on TV. Listen, I'm a fan too. We Want Rider, woo woo woo, all that shit, I love all that. Yeah. This earned him more appearances on TV and a rise in status, which eventually led him to win his first ever singles title, that being the United States Championship at TLC 2011. Daniel Bryan's monumental success at WrestleMania 30 can largely be attributed to the global revolution that he created, known as the Yes Movement. Bryan, over time, gained the full support of millions of fans who chanted his name. 
A great example was in the 2014 Royal Rumble match, which saw the audience chant for Brian, despite him not even being a participant, and booed the eventual winner, Batista, who was supposed to be a babyface. What the hell has happened to this business? The backlash was so intense that it forced the WWE to change their plans, and include Brian in the main event of WrestleMania 30, which he went on to win. A moment him and the fans will never forget.